Good morning. I wanted to go over this worksheet with you just to kind of describe what it is you're seeing so that it can help you complete this assignment. So we're looking at ecology and we're looking at habitats and specifically we're looking at dingo habitats. Um, you can read about that here. It just gives an introduction to those populations. Um, but basically it shows a map here and the map has one, two, three, four, five different uh, dingo populations. And it shows that some of them overlap, like dingo population B overlaps with dingo population C right in this shaded region in here. Um, so they all overlap to some extent. And it talks about that overlapping as a competition of resources and um, trying to find resources in different areas. So it's important to read these couple of paragraphs. They're not very long. Plus, they're going to be what you use to answer the questions that you'll see later on in the worksheet. Um, but the first thing to do is going to be to calculate the density. There's a column here that shows you um, the density of the dingo population. And it gives an example of how to do that. I'm going to help you do that as well. Um, it's already showing you pack A and pack E. Let's do pack B together. And it says you take the pack size, which is 12, divided by the territory, which is 94, and multiply it by 100. So I'm going to do that right here. 12 divided by... 94 equals times 100, 12.7, or 12.8 if you want to round it. And you're going to do that for the other two here. Later on, you're going to be reading from this uh, data table, and you'll have to find some information. So you've got dingo density, uh, you've got different pack sizes. Some are very small, just three, up to packs the size of 12. This is kangaroo abundance, so how often do you see kangaroos when you see dingoes? And then the types of habitat. Now, this is a little confusing to read. It's got two numbers. The first number is habitat type by percentage. So for pack A, 10% of their hab habitat is riverine, one is stony, 21% floodplain and 69% hills. So that means in their territory for pack A, most of the territory is hills, 69%. But then it's got another number here and it says the usage. So that's how often do they use that habitat. So pack A uses the hills about 44% of the time, which is a lot, but it actually uses the riverine system 49% of the time. So even though there's only 10% of the area is riverine, that actually gets used almost half the time by the pack. So these are the two numbers, what the two numbers represent, okay? That's going to help, help you answer some questions later. So habitat type is just how much of it there is in the territory. Habitat uses is how often the dingoes use that area. Okay. Um, down here, it's going to ask you what are the dominant habitats. So for pack A, we already said that 10% riverine, 1% stony, 21% floodplain. So the most dominant, just by type, is hills. So I'm just going to write hills here. And you'll do that with each of the other packs. Okay, so you got some questions on the back and one more data table and, and map. Um, just wanted to highlight a few of these things. There's a few questions about that at the bottom where you're going to use this data table and map. Um, it's showing seven different sites across the country. It tells you the name of the site, but more importantly, it tells you the ecosystems that are there. So what are the common things? So up here, you see a lot of dry, except for the tropical, you see a lot of dry areas. And down here, you see a lot of moist areas. Um, along this column, 
it tells you the range of the dingoes. So you'll see these first few are actually pretty big ranges. Down here, it's pretty small ranges, so they don't get around as much down here, where at these locations, they wander much further abroad. They go a lot more um, distance in their territory than they do down in these bottom ones. Okay, so use that to answer some of these questions. Hopefully this helps. Uh, you will have to take a good look at those graphs and data tables to answer these questions. Uh, thank you very much.